Welcome back to the 2024 Big Sky Conference Kickoff Media Day. We're back here in Spokane, Washington for the Big Sky Kickoff Weekend, and we continue to roll on with the Northern Colorado Bears and Mr. Ed Lamb. Ed, thank you so much for being here, and second year as the head coach at Northern Colorado now. Just how's the vibe, how's the feeling as you get ready for another fall here uh, at Northern Colorado? Uh, it's a team I'm really excited about. I know the players now. I know their backgrounds. I know where they're from. A year ago, that was not the situation. They didn't know me either. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not setting out to flip the whole roster or anything like that. We're developing the players that we have. Uh, the relationships are much closer. And to me, college football is about culture. One of the changes this offseason, Coach, was that you restructured the coaching staff, switched people to different position groups. Why was that important to you? Well, we, we lost some, some guys that went into other opportunities, and that was the catalyst. That was what got it all started. Uh, Justin Walterscheid went from special teams coordinator to offensive coordinator. Justin was my offensive coordinator when I was the head coach at Southern Utah. Been a part of multiple Big Sky championships there. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's competent. The players are excited about that change, excited for Blair Peterson, and, and you know he moved on to something different. But for Justin Walterscheid, it's a great opportunity, and it's a great opportunity for us. Let's take a look at the 2024 schedule for Northern Colorado. And Ed, as you look at it, really some hard hitters in the non-conference as far as FCS programs go. So speak to the non-conference schedule a little bit, and then obviously a Big Sky conference schedule is always very rugged. Sure, yeah, we've got a, we've got a um, challenging schedule. It's one that uh, we're excited about. We want to test ourselves. We want to find out where we're at. Uh, in Incarnate Word is one of the best teams in the Southland Conference. Uh, I think they've won 11 games a season over the last four or five years on average. Fantastic program. That's really what we're focused on right away is, is game one. Uh, for us, the ability to go on the road and win will be a kind of a precursor, a litmus test to, to our ability to do that during the season, especially as we get into conference play. Last season, your team struggled a little bit offensively. How have you seen them progress from November until now? Well, the biggest thing is we're just we're older, more mature, more physical, stronger. Uh, we're a weight room based team. I think we lift as much or more than anybody in the country, uh, sometimes to a fault. Um, you know, we're not we're not enamored with being fresh on game day. We want to be the biggest, strongest team in the conference. That's what we're setting out to do. And so that's going to be the number one uh, biggest change is we're going to be a bigger, stronger program. I thought last year we had a very capable passer, but he was a pocket passer and we weren't able to protect him. That caused issues for our offense. Uh, Jacob Sermon, our quarterback last year, did get an opportunity in the NFL. He does have an elite arm, but it just it didn't really fit with the, the talent that we had around him because we were not a pocket passing team. Ed, you obviously had ho head coaching experience at Southern Utah, then longtime assistant, then back in the head coaching ranks. So what was it like, I guess, kind of retaking that hat last year and just kind of maybe the, the adjustments that you had to kind of redo or relearn as yeah. you kind of redid that role again? I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, I have convictions, but but there are things to learn, as you said. Uh, certainly learned a lot last year about the direction that we need to go, things that I need to do better. But um, yeah, there, there's no question about it that it's a much different job, uh, an assistant versus a head coach. I really enjoy the head coaching role, uh, the purpose that's involved in that, the number of people that are counting on me on a daily basis, and uh, I, I couldn't be more happy. I, there's no question. You know, last year the goal every week is to win and we didn't do that um, so in, in that way we failed but it, the conviction about where we're going in my mind is unquestioned you said the goal is to win you know how to win you did it as a player you were on that 96 byu team that went 15 to 1 won the cotton bowl finished fifth in the nation you know what it takes as a player on the field how do you transfer that experience to your players who are playing for you you know, one of the things that uh, BYU fans remember is that we, our junior year, so uh, Steve Sarkeesian was our quarterback. We were seniors together, and uh, that's the first way to, to, you know, win a lot of games is to have a great quarterback, and, and he was a great leader as well. But uh, one of the things that, that, that BYU fans know is our team, our group of seniors, broke, I think, like a 17-year bowl streak. We did not make a bowl game our junior year at BYU, which is kind of unheard of. And uh, so the hunger to come back from that, the humility, um, and the hard work that went into that senior year was something that I'll never forget. And I think there's a parallel to be drawn between the struggles that we went through last year. Uh, I thought we played tremendously well, especially in the second half of the season, but just never got a win. That frustration, that humility, I think, is going to power us this year. So as you kind of go forward here, Coach, what's maybe the biggest thing for this group as you get set for fall camp? 
You know, I think at, at this point, we just need to continue to get to know each other, to, to respect each other. Uh, we're all, you know, we, we want to have that, that type of humility where we know that we're flawed, but the confidence that we can overcome our flaws. And I think it's important that, you know, as guys get to know each other better, they let down some of those walls, learn how to support each other through the hard moments. That, to me, is what it comes down to when the game's on the line. Absolutely. Well, Ed, thank you so much for your time. Good luck this season. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. We'll be right back here on Big Sky Kickoff Weekend. Stay with us.